Hey guys, Trapper John here from It's a Trap Gaming, and today I'm bringing you something I've been looking forward to for the longest time. We're going to be doing a quick overview, a huge overview of what's coming out this coming Tuesday, and that is MLB The Show 2017. I have my all-star shirt on, I'm pretty sure everyone can see, yeah, the class of 2016. It's really great because one of the key people who came in in 2016, Ken Griffey Jr., is the cover athlete for the United States, as far as I know. I know there's a few other cover athletes. We'll cover that as we get started into this stuff. So let's get started with some of the brand new features you'll see this year in MLB The Show 2017. And also stay tuned to this channel for some updated videos down the line of some great games I'll be having of that, pack unboxings, uh, some possible giveaways. We'll get more into that as we get going. A um, few more studs to give away for you guys to see where we're at and how everyone's enjoying the game so far. So we'll go ahead and get started. So stay tuned and here we go. So the first mode we're going to cover is the Road to the Show mode and everything they have overhauled this year. It's a huge overhaul. It's going to be really intense how they're going to do this. Um, from last year's version, if you played it, you understand some of these changes needed to happen. And they're very welcome changes so far. I can't wait to get my hands on it and play it. So there is a thing they are doing this year called Paving Your Path. It is an RPG style. And here are the things you will get out of that. You'll get agents, personality for your players, managers, and the manager's asking you to change positions or certain things and you being able to agree or disagree with them. So if you're a starting pitcher, they might ask you to be a relieving pitcher later on down the line. So you have that option to change, go forth, go, mm -mm, I don't want to do that, and everything else. It's going to add a ton of brand new features in that. Along with it, it's going to be a documentary style filmed basically from the clubhouse for you to see. You'll still start in the minor leagues and make your way up to that Hall of Fame career that everyone knows they want. You can do that. It's going to be intense and great how in-depth they've done with career mode and road to the show. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get started. Hopefully you guys are too. So, let's go ahead and get started on the next one. The next mode we're talking about is the franchise mode. Now, you can still play the 162 games if you would like. If you have the patience to sit and the time to sit and play those games throughout. That's, I always enjoyed trying to do it and having an undefeated season by the end. And it's so hard to sit through and do that day in and day out. But man, it's fun. It really is. Um, there is a new feature they're adding to the simulation where you can actually manage your team from the sideline. So you can be the manager, make the changes when you need to. And there's also a thing called critical situations this year. And these will only show up when it's a game-determining or lead-determining version of where you're at in the standings. So you're a game and a half back. You win your first game. Now you're a half game back. And you're at bat with, let's say, Todd Frazier. And you have two men on base, first and second. And you're ready to just try to drive those runs in to win the game. And you do it. It's great. But you will be brought in from the simulation screen to that to play those moments. And it's great to see that. A what brand new welcome change and I cannot wait to get my hands on it and start playing it so special one for the next one hope you guys are ready this next mode they have shown and shown and shown it was a surprise that it's coming in this year it is the retro mode that they are adding to the game it has a feel of RBI baseball if anyone out there is like me and remembers those days yes I'm aging myself pretty well um, for the younger guys who don't know that was when you were playing on an N64 and you had basically two to three buttons that you could hit to determine what you were doing in the game. And one of those buttons was the joystick because you could click that thing in to make certain pitch changes and everything else. But beside the point, in this one, it's basically everything is going to be X. You'll be able to pitch with X, hit with X, possibly steal the base with X. No one's really known yet it looks amazing the trailers they've shown with ken griffey jr playing against anthony rizzo is one of the greatest things i have ever seen it's going to be cool i can't wait and the stats will matter so if you have a 99 griffey going in there against 
a pitcher that's a 76, you're still going to probably smoke that pitcher unless he's really good off speed and you can't catch up. Another thing they have also added for this year is for an upcoming mode I will tell you about. So here we go. The final mode I'm going to talk about is the mode that everyone that I know who plays the game and I know get the game every year plays, and that's the Diamond Dynasty mode. This year they're building it around three principles. You are building, collecting, and playing. We'll cover all those as we go on. So first off, from day one, there's going to be 2,000 cards. You heard me right. 2,000 cards in the game from 80 years of baseball history. That means you can have anyone from possibly Babe Ruth and Nolan Ryan and even Hank Aaron on the same team. That is incredible. And having Mike Trout as a pinch hitter. Mike Trout is a pinch hitter. I don't know why you would do it, but that is a possibility. It's, a, it's crazy. It is intense, the amount of things. There's a ton of possibilities for what if this year. What if you had an outfield containing Kern Griffey Jr., Mike Trout, and Billy Hamilton? How well will they do? As you can tell, I am a huge Cincinnati Reds fan. If you guys didn't know that, I am. So you can have Joey Votto starting at first and Todd Frazier. I still love him, even though he is with Chicago. I love him. I love my Todd Frazier, the God, the Todd father. I love him. Beside the point, let's get back into it. So you will even be able to do your custom logo still, your custom uniforms, and even have an input on what some of your fans wear. That's going to be a really cool addition that you can add to this year's game. It might not be their day one, but it'll be something that is coming down the line. Also, there are missions this year, not like last year. These missions actually will make more sense. There are weekly missions, monthly missions, and daily missions that you can go ahead and change out, do, complete, get brand new cards. And some cards will be able to upgrade to a diamond or a top of the line diamond which is a 99 and all stats are maxed on to that we will also have um, programs this year the programs will contain a diamond card or a gold card of a certain player that you can work toward to get for example the one they've shown in the trailers is a 94 rookie griffey <clears throat> jr yeah rookie griffey jr sorry about that to clear my throat and with that, you get the missions that go along with it for you to finish. And that's really cool how they're doing that this year. And the missions will make sense, like hitting the cycle, turning around, you know, pitching a no-hitter, striking out so many at the end of an inning. Um, if your closer comes in, closing out with a great save. All the really cool things happening. There are also some other things they're adding. And the extra innings feature, you can play anybody you know offline and play their diamond dynasty team so any of you guys would like to play my team you can in the extra innings fit in the extra innings tab and option of the game you can set the difficulty to where you want it and go ahead and play when i'm offline or anyone else is offline now if you get rewards for winning offline no one knows hopefully you do that'd be really cool so go ahead and i'll put that link in one of the descriptions coming up for you guys to see where to find my team and what to look for and all that stuff. My logos, all the fun stuff. Um, there are also a couple more things that they have added. Um, there will be the option to play some minor league teams. That's going to be really cool, especially if you're tuning a team to get ready for uh, a Conquest or franchise you're doing online. Conquest is coming back with still taking over the same amount of stadiums, being able to take fans from this area to move them to this one. Really cool how it's going to go. Um... Overall, they have done a tremendous job of updating this year. It's not just a roster update. There's a brand new amount of game features and everything else coming this year. It's going to be incredible, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. And I hope you guys are the exact same. So on that note, after we've covered everything from Road to the Show, the franchise mode, the season mode, which is still the same, a couple of changes have happened, nothing major, and then even your Diamond Dynasty mode. We've covered all of that and the brand new retro mode. There's so much stuff they're adding into this new game. This game is out on the 28th of March, coming up really soon. If you're lucky enough and you are pre-ordered from a GameStop or you're having it sent to you, 
Hopefully they're doing a midnight and you get it a day early. I unfortunately have to wait. No problem with that. I will be, as soon as I get it, you guys will know. An unboxing will be up and you'll be able to see the MVP edition and everything you get inside it. It's going to be incredible and I can't wait to get started playing the game. So on that note, it has been a pleasure to talk to you guys this evening. I hope everyone has had a great day and is looking forward to baseball as soon as I am. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for this video, go ahead and let me know what is your team. Let me know in the comment section what your team is. If you're a Yankees fan, a Boston fan, a Cincinnati Reds fan, a St. Louis Cardinal fan, if you're even a Pittsburgh Pirate fan, let me know in the comments below. It has been a pleasure to talk to you guys this evening. My name is Trapper John, and I will catch everyone in the next video. Have a good one.